Hi friends. I was thinking, um, I was remembering back to uh, 2005. It was a year that we had three hurricanes. It started in August and it seemed like roughly every three weeks we had another one. Just about the time you got your fridge restocked with food, uh, we'd often be without power for a week at a time and so everything that you had um, would end up spoiling and, and you were starting all over again. And I remember back to that time, um, the first time I came home after the first storm, there were trees all over the place. There was a stop, stop lights were in the middle of the road and began to realize there was a lot of damage and it was going to take a long time to actually recover from the stuff we could see and then realizing there was a lot of stuff we couldn't see. And as I was thinking about um, that picture, I realized that's kind of the situation that we're in now. It's not a hurricane, although there's people around the world that are experiencing severe storms, like what happened in Kolkata this past week. Um, but we are sort of in a VUCA storm. Uh, we could say that um, COVID has introduced a storm into our um, into our lives that affects our current reality. Um, everything we counted on um, operating in a certain way has changed because of one restriction, and that is to shelter in place, right? So the whole way, whatever, uh, whatever we would need to do with our critical path steps is now adjusted in light of a new current reality um, that's formed by that constraint. So in a sense, uh, living in a VUCA environment means um, our whole current reality gets shifted. And the strange thing about this one right now is that we don't actually know what the damage is going to look like um, over time. We know there will be a new normal, but we don't know what the new normal will be. And so we're having to live with a certain amount of uncertainty. Um, uh, with a, a lack of clarity around what we can count on going forward. And that requires the leader has a very clear sense of what God calls us to. What does it look like to help fulfill the Great Commission by winning, building, sending, Christ-centered, multiplying disciples in the power of the Holy Spirit, and helping the body of Christ do evangelism and discipleship? When we don't meet in churches, uh, we our small groups can't meet in the normal way. We have to pivot. Uh, and that is the essence of, of VUCA life. Uh, the VUCA prime leader will be clear about her destination, but they're able to navigate um, and create new path steps in light of a very different current reality. So my friends, uh, to that end, let's be those kind of people who can make those adjustments um, because we are clear on what we're about and we're able to change in light of new circumstances to accomplish the mission that God's called us to. Love to you today.